Hey guys, Paul DG back with another quick video. How to remove the throttle pedal uh, mechanism from your Crossfire. Uh, some of you may have issues with the sensor, a throttle pedal position sensor. Uh, that's this guy right here. As you can see, and it is non-serviceable. So you can't, if it goes on you, you have to remove the throttle pedal itself. Three mounting points. One is, you can see this this pocket pin here, this fits in a nice little hole just above the throttle pedal itself. The second one will be your cable that fits in there that you just pop right out. The third one is this one, the floor one, right next to your heel. So you're, you'd be putting your heel right here and just underneath that is where this screw is. It, uh, it's attached to the body of the car on the floor. And uh, once you remove the nut, all you need now is to simply remove that tiny little washer that's in there. Problem is, is no matter how much you try to wiggle and jiggle this, it won't, the pocket pin won't come out of the pocket, and it's just stuck in the position, and no matter how much you try lifting it up, it won't move. I'll show you why in a second. So what you need is a magnet. In my case, I have a, one of these little pin uh, retractable magnets. I think it comes out. I think I bought them at uh, one of the local uh, automotive stores for about two bucks. Really cheap, but very, very handy. And it also folds and bends into all sorts of different ways. So, anyways, to go back to this, what you need to do is get one that fits inside and put your magnet down there. It's a little hard to do with the camera, but there we go. And you'll need to. Play and jiggle with it. Sometimes it'll just pop out nice and easy, but this mine is quite powerful. And right now, there we go. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right there we go. We have it. Okay. So to show you the issue at hand is, let's see if I can get this. There we go. You see, there's the nut. There's the uh, the bolt. But behind it, you can see space once you can do this once you get that washer out of the way you'll be able to back up the entire unit even about that quarter inch just enough for the pocket pin to get out of the pocket okay so once you got that and also you'll be able to lift it up at this point because if not you can't lift it up there's just no way okay you have to be able to get that washer out to lift it up, get it out of the way, and there is that groove I was talking about where the washer sits on the other side and the bolt is. While we're at this at the same time, this little, whoops, this little plug right here, okay, that's your wide open throttle plug. So when people are driving the cars, they, they'll floor it, but some of you don't floor it all the way. So here's what happens see that when you depress that all the way I mean you floor it hard when you depress it all the way it sends a signal to your computer to tell it hey I want to go fast I want to go super fast this is wide open throttle time so please understand what I'm saying here so next time you're out driving your car and if you never depressed it until you heard that part well then, I don't think you fully appreciated the full power of your crossfire. Anyways, hope this helps. Uh, Paul DeGay signing off. Have a great day. And by the way, spring is sprung. I'm taking the crossfire out this weekend.